G'day. Today we're making a part in aluminium. It's just a hose barb type fitting uh, with some grooves in it. And the grooves have given me all sorts of grief. Really not happy with the product that I ended up turning out. Yes, those lines over there in this simulation, I had to draw them in in CAD and import them into this software so that I had lines for uh, the profile can cycle of the cam to follow. As you can see, that takes four cuts there. I ended up changing that to three cuts, two mil deep and uh, 0.18 feed and it removed the material quite nicely. Now we get to the back end and following those lines that I drew in. Then we call up the drill to drill the hole. Be using a deep hole jobber drill for that hole. Deep hole jobber drills are made for five times the diameter uh, depth of hole and that one is about that but they really work well and that's the grooving that's the bit that's giving me difficulty looks great there but it's not so great in real life so we'll have a look at that and later on I've got some microscope shots as well you can see it's just not sensible not the way it ought to be at all it's a forge yourself centering toss chuck great piece of equipment to have. I've even used that as a two jaw chuck with some soft jaws to hang on to a piece of material and bore it out. That material is 2011 machine grade aluminium. There's the two mil deep cuts and you'll see I'll remove the centre completely because I've found that if I, I generally work on lengths of material about half a metre long which is about the length of the headstock of the lathe and if you don't remove those by the time you get to the end the drill has really wandered off something really bad um, so by taking that away you start each one with a fresh hole and uh, they don't wander off nearly so much I mean it, it may wander off in the single part but you don't get this uh, error every time you start a new part. So that's why that was machined away. That's a 0.8 per rev feed. And yes, I did break this drill while doing this job. Tried to home the machine while there was something still in the way of the drill coming back in the X direction. And yeah, that was $33 to replace. But when you've got a lot of holes to drill, um, it's really worth the money. An ordinary job of drill that size is probably, what I don't know, $5. You can see here with each cut, the current being drawn decreases. The cuts are staying the same, it's just that there's less material to remove at the, as the diameter decreases. This motor is rated at 5 amps continuous, so we were going over a bit there, but it wasn't continuous, so I'm hoping we're not doing it any harm. Now, I slowed the feed right down there just for a, a moment to try and get a good finish on that back chamfer, but it didn't help. That really needed a light skim. There's no reason why it can't be finished nicely, but it was because the, it was a deep cut. Uh, just a light skim over the top of it would have cleaned that up nicely. But, I was having so many difficulties with the, the grooving that that became totally irrelevant. I only ended up making 15 of these parts. I think I was asked to make 50. Um, but I've ended up, I've sent them off to the customer for them to approve or otherwise and we'll see what happens. And if they want more, I'll make more, but I'll use a different parting tool. Let's see if I can explain this once the... This is just the roughing, and then it'll go back and run a profile. 
Now, as it goes in here, and that bit of land there is two diameters. That bit of land there is two diameters. You can, you can virtually see the difference in the surface finish on those two bits. Now, I went backwards in the opposite direction thinking that would help clean it up. But it didn't. And not only that, when I made the spring pass actually more of a, a cutting pass, it still didn't clean it up. It still had that weird looking effect. And 0.05 difference in diameters, which is just ridiculous. This is the two diameters that you can see under the microscope. So you can see the definitely different, that's a different surface finish. That's a shot of the front of the grooving tool I was using, that's the insert. Um, doing it again, I wouldn't use that insert again because it might be what's causing the problem. This is the insert I would use and I don't think that will cause a problem. Um, but I thought it was too much side loading to use that insert on this particular job, but apparently it's not. So there we are, that's what they look like. And thank you for watching.